hacked at her dead skin with a Centrelink check and she was, till she found her old tattoos under all the, yeah, uh, the decay. Yuck. Oh, my mic's there. Hello. Okay. G'day, mate. How are ya? Good. How have you been? Oh, yeah. Hard yakka. It, look, it hasn't been easy. <laughs> we had Michael's uh, 30th birthday over the weekend. God damned if we... Thank you, Marty. Yeah, I fucking ripped one. I ripped he one, eh? pulled something out of the underworld. You can't go to bars or clubs, so um, <clears throat> just hired a limo for a few hours and just drove around and just spoke. We just yeah, talked. Yeah, we didn't do anything. Because you can't drink in cars. It's illegal. And do other things. Like Penadol. Oh, you can have Penadol. Yeah. But yeah. Only in limos. And it was spaced out, so it was sort of social distancing. Yeah, and we'd go and, you know, visit our friends and pick them up, and then we just had a little party in the car. <laughs> Yay. Didn't we do that? Remember? We did a little bit of the shakety shakes. Woo, side to side. Didn't we go that? The boogies. Hey, Didn't I've we go that those, too? You know, I said last week. <laughs> hey, come on, boogies. do it with me. Don't change the subject. It's shakety shake from side to side, remember? Wooshka, wooshka, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> little, little birthday song there that we sang on the day. So it was pretty crazy. It's pretty intense night. <laughs> I've got one of those eyebrows that fucking fold over my eye. Like I spoke about two weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, look, you just go. <gasps> and it's gone. No, it's right. A lot of spit came out there. Thank you. It's not like I've. It's my first time. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's pretty much all we could do so um, yeah that was our weekend and also um, fucking guess what everyone this podcast is sponsored by, by the by University of Michael dot com if, if you want to promote if you want to support us you can go and sub- go, you, you can go subscribe to the website right? it's five dollars US a month that's it Just, it's and, getting better and there's a videos on there that we film and we only film for the website we don't film it for anywhere else we half ass Facebook hard now because there's so many rules there's so many rules but now we can be ourselves oh it's so fun and it's special yeah there must yeah. be a fair few new viewers here, isn't there? That isn't there that right? Should we shake it to the side for them? Shake it to the side for the new visitors. Shake, 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 shake. shake your. Th- welcome. Uh, yes, thank you for everyone who joined the giveaway. That got Bosley up. He's startled. Mm, startled the medic. <laughs> Our blood pressure's changed. <laughs> <laughs> you can smell it. So thanks to everyone who played along and two lucky people got $500 and they said, oh, thank you. Didn't they, remember? Also, there's fucking scammers of, on Facebook at, trying to pretending to be us. And, oh, God, I'm so over thinking about it, talking about it. They, we, they, shut the, we shut them down and then they just start up a new account. There's it's like, impossible. If you ever get a comment on one of... If you share one of our videos and get a comment on it saying, oh, you've won X amount of money. No, it's a scam. It's not real. It's not me or Michael. We would never comment on shares, right? Well, I'm seeing fairies, dude. You know that shit when you feel like you're fainting? Yeah, that's from the uh, weekend. Whoa. I poisoned you. And during my during the day, Michael's birthday, I, um, I don't know if you guys saw, I tied him to a tree. Oh. That was pretty good. But he made up for it so hard. Yeah. I had no idea what was going to go on. And then, bang, I get a limo show up to my house. I thought I was going on a picnic with on my a, girlfriend. Yeah. Which is like, a picnic's a picnic. It doesn't matter who you're with. A picnic's a fucking picnic. So, I was like, all right, cool. It's not like it's my birthday. Bang, limo, after you fucked with me during the day. Now it's even. So, it was 50-50. <clears throat> All right, Matt Brown, what have you been up to here, hey? We've got a little little segment here on this day, a little research, Matthew. Yeah, he's become a researcher. Mm, he's a, we've actually had to hire him. As he's a, a researcher. Because it was destroying his, his time at his, at his other job. So he's a, yeah. He's a full-time researcher. Having said that, though, the... Um, oh, what did you, you call me, a stactician? A statistician. He's no. a statistician. No, yeah, a statistician. A statistician. I said the other night on my thirtieth. And uh, yeah, there's uh, some pretty cool facts for the on this day this 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 week. It's it's like whoa, you know. There's there's one that's there's a couple that are a bit like oh, okay, they're not that good, but there's a couple that's just like whoa, you had to de- dig deep. You had to dig deep. Good journalism. Get in there to figure this shit out. And that's why we pay him researcher. That's why we pay him researcher. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, on this day in 1969, uh, 
Mariah Carey was a fish. She swam down streams and leapt out of the water to feel the summer sun kissing her glossy scales. Years later, she was caught by a fisherman who was also a scientist, and he turned her into a human. But every now and then, Mariah still likes to jump in the water and splash around. Oh, yeah, I like that. I hate her, but that made me like her more. Wow, she used to be a fish. So that explains her like, her, like, because, oh. you know, I've seen her drink clips of her on YouTube, like drinking water. So she must like love water because she used to be a fish. Yeah, dude. It's a little mermaid. Yeah, like real there's life. literally like a few videos I've seen where she's like took more than like one sip at a time. She was like full, like, like two big gulps. I always water. had this preconception that she was a fish. Yeah. Somehow it makes sense. And I'm pretty sure I've seen her scales too. Anyway, <clears throat> on this day in 2010, Paul Walker is dead. <laughs> Lazy, mate. Did you run out of time? <laughs> I must have just run out of time for that. Is it really on this day he fucking decided no, 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 to it's turn just, Fast it's and just, Furious into no, reality? No, he's just. it just says Paul Walker is dead. It, didn't say, it doesn't say on this day he died. But he, he, he just was on, dead at that point. On this day in 2010, Matt had a thought to himself, oh, Paul Walker's dead. Fuck, you've got good brain shit. Yeah, it's uh, shocking how you remember that. <clears throat> On this day in 1999, Christina Aguilera said to herself, you know what? I'm going to eat way more now. Now, everyone here at Marty and Michael would also like to point out that we have nothing against overweight people and that we love everyone equally. We're just saying that she decided to eat more on this day in 1999. Was that... Uh, yeah, that's that post. In, all right. So, we, we, if you're like overweight or whatever... I like, reckon she got hotter like, it's when not, she ate more. Well, like, it's unhealthy. We all agree it's unhealthy. No, I think she got hotter in my personal opinion. But we don't have anything against... Fat. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, cut that <laughs> No! They need to hear it. PH fat. Yeah, obviously. What the hell? How did it get... It got there. It got there. We just... Fuck! On All this right. day in 1997, Kim Kardashian started a trend where she would use her own breast milk as a facial moisturizer and also make bars of soap out of it. She named the soap Tit Bars, but the company went bankrupt after Kim's milk went sour due to a testicle infection. She had it. Ah, uh, like daughter, <laughs> like dad, I guess. Okay, so there you go. Shit. So she and and I I remember saying that at a party once. I bet you Kim Kardashian is a bloke. He did say that. I yelled it. I pretty much yelled no, it that was at like that funeral. My thirtieth. Well, no, it was that that funeral of that on no, that guy's. That's a 30. party to you. A funeral is a party. Uh, yeah, no, I yelled that. Kim Kardashian and I death. screamed out. Matt's hammer walked drunk. Down. Matt's walked out. Hammer drunk. I screamed out across all the you know funeral people. Kim Kardashian is a man. Was it, was it after her dad came out as a chick? No, I, I don't know. I, all those, I don't really follow it, but... Yeah. It's oh. hearsay, hearsay. Exactly. Next segment has been renamed to... Ah! Ah! Suck it! Suck it! Suck it! Whoa. And this is a segment... <clears throat> Whoa. Where we just basically answer questions that so you guys you know, have sent in by Instagram. Na- my, my neighbor's family's playing in that yard right there and michael heard them talking about us the other day <laughs> Corey howard underscore has said do you guys ever re- regret getting famous and having to upload content for your platforms or do you enjoy it no nah, i don't regret it it's definitely um not as like it's awesome to start with but like everything the novelty sort of wears off for a while but fuck so lucky and yeah love our life yeah know? it's so good but yeah the whole but like it is oh, relentless man. it is relentless you just gotta keep doing shit you every time you go to the shops it. so yeah and you can't undo it it's done now you can't undo it yeah everyone knows your face you are fucking yeah. there so I can see why some people sort of like get over it but like yeah we are fucking loving life because of you dogs. Yeah. Thanks and Matt, for the support. Matt too. Especially the people who are University of Markle members. You guys support us the most. Because we... This podcast is proudly sponsored by that. And go, go, go subscribe. We. All right. Next question's from... All right. This is spicy underscore frog 51. About time. Have you ever tried licking a priest's bladder or liver? Um, no, I haven't thought about it, done it. Like, yeah, I've never, that thought has never entered my mind. But it, what a very interesting question. I have. Next question. Richard Mr. Hall, Hall 7788. Hi, guys. And Matthew Gregory Brown from Research. What are your <laughs> phobias? And 
keep up the good work. What are our phobias? What's the fuck when you hate something? When you're really scared, scared of something, you're frightened. Yours would be uh, bugs. You hate creepy yeah. crawlies. Um, and heights. Heights freak me out. Yeah, heights. Now that was that's never or that's just. I think that's new, isn't it? I've always, I've always been, been scared of heights. Um, fear of uh, fish. We hate fish. Yeah, when fish. When our mates catch fish, in the water can't. they're okay though. Like unless unless they get really when close. When you have to, to me. catch them and like hold them. Oh yeah, fuck. yeah. You don't, you don't you don't want to touch fish. Yeah, just want to look at them. Hmm. But and um, yeah, what else? Spiders. Just anything creepy crawly. They shouldn't have been fucking made. God fuck. Nah, it. we need them, man. We need them because it's an ecosystem shit, man. Mosquitoes. Yeah, exactly. They need to eat the oh, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Yeah, you hate them. <sighs> what was that prank he did? Ross River or Ross something? River. He used to prank me in school because he's got like three knuckle sets. <laughs> One, two, and three. <laughs> and it looks so fucked. And he used to tell me he got it because a mosquito. I think you bit. do get it by a mosquito bite. Oh, okay. So that was true. Yeah. Yeah. Next question's from. Oh, this is just Billy underscore J underscore Osborne. We've had a heart war with her for the last like two years. So she sends us a heart in Instagram DMs. We send one back maybe a day later. And this has gone on for two years. And we just do it. And she's like, she's just finally asked like and used words. Could you guys mention me in a video? So this is a video. So yeah, we'll mention you. We love you. Thank you for Thanks all the for hearts. Being there from day one, as soon as we started. She's Austin. Like, hey. Nothing. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> uh, Austin Rose, twenty-seven. Have you ever been so far as to even pretend to even want to do more? Like question mark. Yeah. Well, I've never really been around that part, so I'm not sure how to exit as well as keeping in mind that everything needs to remain the same on the outside otherwise it'll obviously offset the balance in the middle and so, even want pretend is good though but it's up to the cows if they want to be with it then don't but up it to the river more likeness next question Gemma underscore gordon underscore would you ever come to new zealand yes yes I'm yes. king. I mean, that's yes. probably going to be my next holiday someone should send uh tickets to new zealand in the p.o box <clears throat> Agreed. Nothing. Mason. 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 Underscore. Mason. Underscore. Mason dot read. Read. Unders- One thing you don't like about each other: a habit. The sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sucks. It's it, the shit you guys don't see is where it's fucked. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Oh, get out! You keep your mouth shut. <laughs> yeah, I'll like, no, finally don't, I want. No, don't you touch me. Oh, I got a hair in my mouth. <laughs> hmm. That's not a. Um, the, probably the um, least favorite thing about Michael is like when he's like, he's got like this weird obsession with kids. <laughs> like, it's. <laughs> <laughs> like he's just always talking about them, showing me pictures of like. Kids at school, you know, year two, year three, and shit like that. So that's probably the most annoying part of Michael. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Next question. My noose is loose. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great name for a band. Yeah, wow. My noose is loose. It's like anti emo. Yeah, and then you can wear loose nooses around your neck as part of the uniform. Matthew? Start it. Google it. Start it. Drop it down. Sh- drop box. We'll fund it. You create it. Cunt. Drop drop box to the Shopify account and split it off to Air. the emails. Air. Fucking send out the Facts. emails. You fucking get it done by the midnight. Excel sheets are key. And press the buttons until it's over. All right. He's asked, what's each of your most scary drug experiences? We fucking spoke about this. Yeah. Bad trips are uh, pretty horrifying. And also... When um, mixing drugs sometimes has like really annoying like side effects like fucking blood pressure through the roof, mm. heart beating really hard and you just can't sleep or relax. So some of them have been pretty shit. But probably the most intense was the MD. Like we've just pushed it way too far with caps. Yeah. We're like, you should die. <laughs> but you don't die. 
But you are OD. No, we, we don't know that. We, we like we yeah, but we've had a lot of. We looked the the symptoms up, and they were all happening. But yeah, drugs are bad. Kids don't do them until you're 18. All right, next question. What was that, Matthew? Did you say something? You found something? You downloaded it? Oh, Google loose nooses. <laughs> <laughs> now that's gonna be in my search Dumb. history if mon sees that when she gets up she'll think that there's something fucking wrong no, with no, it, uh, urban dictionary come up with loose noose is a form of a loose asshole you have a loose oh, asshole oh i see i see that's why he's stiff madison.low 88 <laughs> if you had to be a marvel hero slash villain <laughs> who would you be who's the best who would win out of all of them probably thor right yeah Thor's because he's a god Fuck. Yeah, I probably Thor. want to be a god. I yeah, mean, Ma- Ma- Marty would be a Thanos and Michael would be like a... The, what's the little... Little, um, little tree? Yeah, or root. the little raccoon? Yeah, the raccoon. <laughs> he's a Marvel man. Yeah, yeah he's part of the... Um, oh, Rock fuck. Of it's such a ridiculous... Oh, what are you, oh, what a stupid uh, question. Going like, to LA, on. remember I watched like a couple of them? I think I've seen... You, you, like, watched, the ve- you watched like two of the Avengers <laughs> yeah. in a 14-hour uh, flight. I just wanted to see what all so the fuss angry was about. At it. Was it any good? It was like... It kept me interested. It wasn't... I wasn't... It, after the movie, I was like, oh, that was really cool. I was just like, oh, He yeah. told me he actually liked it and he wants to watch all the movies. I was Jeremy. watching... I watched Matthew the whole Brown. series of Chernobyl, which is a real HBO series in Russia. Who's your favorite character? I'd love to go The guy who... No one knows any of those characters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Russian man. The Russian. I'd love to fucking go there in a hazmat suit. Oh, dude. And that would kiss. be a great... <laughs> and we could just go to the middle of Chernobyl and kissing. Dude. And we'll call the video kissing in that's, the middle of Chernobyl. That's some shit we'd be able to do on the website you can, eventually. You can actually go there and do a tour. And we're just ripping our hazmat suit off and just kissing more, pa- more and more passionately. I don't know about the kissing. Our like, teeth maybe a are just I do crushing it, I do together. A, I do our teeth nice are clanging thing. together. I do we're a kissing nice, so ferociously. I do a nice peck Rip with the you, hazmat suit off. Yeah, you don't even have to wear a suit. You're allowed there for a certain amount of time. There's no suits, okay? No, you definitely. We could kiss. We don't have to use time. We'll just have a peck. You're but disgusting. But imagine going to Chernobyl and fucking doing weird shit that you're not meant to do there. I'm not going there if you're going to be fucking trying to kiss me or whatever. <laughs> Look, I'll go there if to film an entertaining video. But if you're going to come on to me, we're not going. All right. But what about if we have the suits on? Okay. All right. Next question. Oliver Boyer 04, will you ever do a video on the main channel with Matthew Gregory, Gregory Brown, Brown in it? On the main channel. Have you ever been Matt, in you one? should answer this. Um, I need a I piss. briefly appeared in the um, how to ruin, oh no, how to ruin, um, oh no, how to stop your friend from eating junk food. I briefly. Oh yeah, and the gaming one, were you yeah. in that one? The lounge room? Um, oh yeah, that was, that was one clip that was filmed at my house. And oh, the fucking boys trip, you were the f- geisha. That's got over a million views as well. Our boys trip from God, yeah. that was fun. He's oh, don't touch me. That's what I mean, guys. It's the sexual assault. I thought you were pissing. Daily. No, no, no. I've just got my hand. I thought you were pissing then. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh no. Oh, yeah, honest mistake. Um, but yeah, we'll do a video soon on Matthew Brown and just well, film we, him oh, imagine researching. If we, we could do a cool website vid with like Matt as the judge, and he's just pouring concrete on us until we're just encased in concrete, and the first one to get out loses. <laughs> what, what, what would you die? Because it crush you once it sets. And it starts oh, to. Set, I don't you think it gets. Be able to get out. I don't, I don't think it gets. Crush he- you, I don't think it gets heavier as it sets. It just if if it was going to crush you, it'd probably crush you if you were standing in it because it's so dense. But think about it: when you breathe in with your chest, yeah, it would exactly. It would set there, and then you start trying to breathe out, and it would harden. You couldn't breathe yeah. out. You go in deeper, and the next minute. <laughs> You're fucking dead. It wouldn't harden that quick. You probably cause cracks. And, oh, and we could, oh, shut up! And Matt. we could wear we could wear a little like. A fence around our bodies so that a little protection, stops. like air a protection room. air room, a protection, protection air, air room. room. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'd be down. I'd love to do a video with Matthew Gregory Brown, our researcher, <laughs> our statistician. He is research. Mm, Stat- Google it. Google it. Google it. Google it. He is research. Statistics. Google it. Technology. All right. Next one is what's doing. How do you approach the voluptuous cows when their bull boyfriend is around? 
easy. So, yeah, bulls are usually always around. Well, not always, but usually there's just a bunch of cows unless it's a breeding bull. The breeding bull will be with them. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite easy to pick off a cow from the outside and especially if there's a large amount of cows, it's easy to pick one off because they, they're sort of so spread out. So, you know, the way I get around that is I just usually... Don't! Yes! No! Yes! No, what's going yes! on? Yes! Oh, no. <laughs> Michael tried to piss in silence, but I knew. <laughs> Anyway, oh. so yeah, you just pick one off from the outer rings. And honestly, the bulls, like, they're not scared of you, but they won't come at you unless... Stop this! Ah! Stop this shit! <laughs> oh, man, I'm in pain. Fuck it, I'll just piss on the floor. Get me a towel. No, no, no there's going to be cords everywhere. No, no, I'll piss on the towel. <laughs> This is so fun. <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> You're holding his dick, holding yeah, the piss yeah, into his, with his yeah, foreskin. Yeah, I had to pull my foreskin his over. His foreskin's it. like a tap right now. <laughs> so anyway, you pick one off from the uh, outskirts and then usually strangle it, get it in a headlock and, and drag it off. Put it on its side so that its legs can still sort of... Because when they get frantic, they sort of still kick their legs out and use that to help Outside. propel yourself oh, you. backwards with the cow, if that makes sense. And then you sort of, yeah, drag it off and off you go. I'm not pissing until you fucking say I can. Say I can. Fuck off! Ah! Keep talking about the cow! <laughs> I have finished the question. Oh, dude! I'm going to watch... Man, there's a lot of piss on the floor. You fucked up bad. <laughs> oh. Let me! Let me! No! That's enough! Oh, you splashed it up on my fucking arm. This is so far. He's got piss splashed up his arm. <laughs> What kind of bloke pissing piece? Tuka tuka Murphy, no! He just <laughs> went all over my leg. Oh my god, dude, you gotta stop. That's enough, you fucked me too hard now. Let me go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hold your dick with the other hand. Hey? Hold your dick with the other hand. Your, your holding hand is in the hand he can grab at. Then I can just grab his dick hand and shake it about. Yeah, then it'll go up and fling it up in his face. It's a lose lose situation. And fucking hell, that. God damn. It. Michael finishes every podcast covered in his own urine. Pretty sure we're the only podcast that can say that. So half of it's on my leg. <laughs> Fuck. God. Just let it dry and wipe it off with a brown paper bag later. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe in magic? J underscore Dan 34 Matt Brown from Statistician Hold Sims how do, you, how do you put up with Marty and Michael? Do you want to come answer this one? Sit on my seat There's no, no piss here I'm right Okay Alright There's no piss Piss covered Knees up me. Sit on my lap. Mm. How do I handle Marty and Michael? Testicle. Just before the show starts, I've got to motivate myself to get through it. <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll often think of just a nice, calm sort of place over the rainbow with daisies in the field. Mm. And I, I, t I project myself to that place. And um, yeah, I sort of just close my eyes and wait for the show to end. He does. He does do that a lot. Matthew Brown, the newest recruit to the Marty and Michael operation. A statistician. He's a researching statistician. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was slickly more cool. He you know is what a research. Does. He statistician. is research. Is that a real word, statistician? I just said it because yeah, I thought no, it, it sounded funny. Some people think that Matthew um, got a, a degree at Harvard. Statistician uses mathematical techniques to analyze and interpret data and draw conclusions. Oh, so it's a real fucking. Thing. It's maths. It's just maths. Oh, fucking hell, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Math Sue Brown. The research. Math Sue Brown. <laughs> buckle, buckle, buckle. <laughs> Next question. Joshua underscore RZKY. Why do you always drink alcohol? We, usually we don't during the podcast, but we've seen a trend that the podcast that we do drink a little bit, they like, everyone's always like, oh, 
Oh, so they're liking when we're a bit looser, a bit loose and off the cuff a bit. Yeah, hey, fucking shoot one down that way and bloody have another go at the bloke over there and then fucking back to this can't here, can't. This, 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 this. A bit like that. So now we start drinking during the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and also, like the more you drink, the more it gets, it grabs your soul. Yeah, but but don't come. Don't, this this can't be. This isn't sustainable. I won't stand for it. We can't be drinking every fucking Tuesday for the rest of our lives. <laughs> yeah, once a week's fine. Mm, yeah, and then fucking come around weekend, can't fucking throw them or something or something or cut my drinks on Thursday while we're filming before you know four days of the week on your piss one pissing out blood can't. <laughs> Oh, oh, god damn. All right, this is my life is comedy. Or my life is comedy. My life's a is- comedy. If you guys could be in the movie, what genre would it be? You'd be in an adult film. You'd be the gimp mask. Oh, you <laughs> fucking did film. that the other day. You would be the mask. So your body would be over the face of whoever's wearing you. That would be your job in a movie. <laughs> no, I reckon it'd be comedy. <laughs> well, fuck it. Let's All right, just say let's, it. We'll say it anyway. We're well, going to be in a movie and leave it there. Allegedly and rumour. Perhapsy. Perhapsy. That you may Put it down to a bit perhapsy. Put it in the margin column. <laughs> 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 Next to the date. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Perhaps scan underscore. I underscore M underscore sped underscore Kirch dot dot dot. Can't finish it. What's your favorite color in alphabet? Yes or no? What's your favorite color? Purpy sevens, yes. What? Purpy sevens, yes. Mm, oh, sorry. That used to be my favorite. Perhapsy. I've had it. Um, what is it? The one? So your favorite color in the alphabet? Yes or no? Cray. <laughs> it is good. That's no, been around I've, for a while. Well, that's we why. had that fucking going around the... Yeah. Cray. We, that's been a few years. My All friend. Right. Andrea Tansy. How much do you drink a night? <laughs> also, how old is your dog? He is gorgeous. How much do you drink a night? Well, it varies for both of us. I um probably maybe drink two... 2.5 times a week on average. So, on the weekend, usually um with my... G- girlfriend and and then you know maybe i w- won't get fully drunk but have a few drinks maybe one other night of the week i can't yeah because sometimes it varies friday to s- too much because it was the 30th birthday i think on the third no, but just on average though what do you reckon oh, four three four times huh. like last night there was just a bottle of champagne in the fridge so it's over you- from the weekend so like it was there which is seven standard drinks, right? Yeah. So I had that, but I didn't feel anything. It was just like, all right, and I wanted more, but I didn't. That's for the best. It's perhapsy. <laughs> Next question is from underscore Jackal Ensign underscore for you, Marty. What other animals did you fuck before you settled for cows? It's always been cows. It's only ever been cows. It will only ever be. People for, were the first animals that I fucked and then cows. With the second animals that I fucked. What's better if you really break it down? A human fuck or a cow fuck? Well, it's fuck? different. It's like saying what's better, well, like water or food. It's just different. You know well, what I'd mean? say food. If over a, when you're really parched, oh, a drink yeah. of water. Oh, they're both just necessities in life. You need both of them. So Humans you, need, and cows. you need cow sex and you need... Cow sex is like the water. And the human sex is like the food. But human... So, food, you can last 40 days or 30 days without, without it. Yeah, but cows, it has Water, to be... it's like two days. So, like, it's a, like and cows it, it are is probably more essential. Right? And intense urges. Like, I get headaches. and Like, I get dehydrated when I haven't had sex with a cow. The same symptoms. <laughs> <laughs> the exact yeah, same dehydrate. symptoms. Headaches, bit headaches, dizzy. Yeah, yeah. Like, and if I haven't... Yeah, if I haven't fainty. had sex... Yeah, if I, if, like, if I go, like, four days without it, then, yeah, I'm in real trouble. I get that. Okay, yeah, that's a good explanation. All right, last question. <clears throat> that is the last question. I told you. Next segment. That's not a fucking boy. Oh, fuck. This is going to suck. We've never done this. Uh, all right, so the stunt time segment this week is we've got one of our gel blasters recently fixed 
and it's raring to go. It's fully charged. Oh, so we thought for dude. some time, you know what, let's play bloody uh, Russian roulette with this semi-automatic weapon that shoots every time you pull the trigger. <laughs> well, let's so play bloody Russian. Dumb. Let's play bloody Russian roulette with it. <laughs> Holding it to my throat now, I regret. Dude, apparently if you get punched in the neck sometimes, you die. Because it hits a nerve octave. Matt, can you research? A nerve octave. Let the research begin. Let the research begin. Let the research, the research, the research. <laughs> oh, shit, Matt. Quickly, call a clean. Abandon research. Begin cleaning. Pull the towel Oh, the safety's on. I tried to pull the trigger and shoot you then. <laughs> what are you fucking asshole? We're it's safe, fucking Matt. covered in piss. I'll hold this. You is picked that, that up. No, that's beer. But down there, the no, towel is covered in piss. Good oh, way. you fucking foot touched my foot and it's so wet with piss. <laughs> <laughs> and that's his fault. This is a piss blanket. Are we sure we want to... Okay. Oh, sh oh fuck the temple. Oh! <laughs> fuck the safety temple. Safety off. I've never shot myself in the head, so I'm not sure. Do you reckon just like this and then I'll pull the trigger? Why are you so excited? Because you have to go back? first. I'm so nervous about this one. Like, I know I normally have to go first because that's fairer. If it doesn't shoot, that still counts. So I'm not going through this psychological pain again. Fuck off! It, it probably dummy. will. It probably will. <sighs> Get your face out so they can see it. Oh, shit! Oh, you fucking hell. You're working a little bit. <laughs> What's it like? Not me. <laughs> it broke off and hit you from there. Yeah. What's it like? <laughs> oh, fuck this. You're you fucking concussed. <sighs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Stop. It is loaded. <laughs> you don't like gelling your wine? Oh, uh, fuck. If you God. miss your chin, you'll take your nose off. I know, nah, you were so nah. close. Yeah, otherwise you'll get your throat burnt off. Oh, I am terrified yeah, right it's now. It's not mine, I fucking rebounded. <laughs> My eye's getting lazy. <laughs> it was in, Jill! I didn't shoot, I didn't hear it. Oh, it's empty, you cheater. Oh! And so that's stunt time on the mind, Michael. Shoot, uh, shoot Matt in the head. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> we don't want our research to go. Bozzy gets scared. Look, he's ready to leave now. He's like, oh, I'm please. not going to no. shoot him. I'm just going to shoot the window. No, no, stop. He's going to freak out. Okay. Oh, oh, look, he's crying now. Good boy, it's alright, Dallin. Just chill, mate. Grow right? up. It's okay. We walk you every Lie day. Lie down. Lie down, have a little sleep, okay? With my schnickney. With my little schnickney, hey? With my little darling, hey? Mm, with my little schnickney pup. Oh, you oh, chimo, hey? Oh, oh, my fingers. All right, next experiment. And by next experiment, I mean segment, and it uh, has been renamed this week to. <laughs> Break it down out of the 50s. <laughs> oh, yes, they're my favorite. This is a segment where we just unbox the stuff that you guys have sent to our P.O. box. And this week we have a parcel from Ohio from Sarah. Do you want some scissors? Without further ado, let's see what she sent. Oh, don't break it. I would never do that to any you of us. fucked it, cunt. You ripped her fucking letter. Nah. Baby, I'm saying All I want is... <laughs> To Marty and Michael little, Another little package inside this package Wait, let's read the letter first oh, oh my god, that is not Oh my god, is that a fucking tampon? Somebody's nasty coochie blood props Enjoy oh, What's that mean? I don't know, just Fuck, that's What's sick. a Why, coochie blood prop? Why is it all greasy? Oh, oh shit this Someone's poisoned us Someone's that's a, that's fucking us. anthrax. Let's read this fucking letter. Dear Marty and Mike, because I can't spell Michael, I want oh, I Michael sick. to sniff the rot pussy blood and or wear it on his forehead and work oh. out in public with his new pussy blood sweatband. Enjoy my nasty sons oh. of bloody rips and my cunt blood. Sarah is 
Joking, oh. not mine. Right. Whoa. Oh, that is heavy. Oh, it's I'm... hard to What's shock us. Oh, you got some gloves? Oh, I feel sick. I don't that know is... open this. That's an axe wound, blood. I'm not opening that. Fuck, that is. I'm going to go what wash is that? my hands real quick. Oh, fuck you. Oh, this is the worst one yet. I this. Fuck. Marty, what is this thing? Dude, that's anthrax. I studied it. Ever since we started this fucking podcast, that's anthrax. Comes in packages. It's the Unibomber. Fuck! Oh, I'm not putting it on my forehead. Yeah, of course not. Put it straight in this bin. That's fucked. No, we gotta smell it. Oh, you can smell it and you gotta open that too. No, give me gloves. Oh, this Dude, is fucked. Dude, keep it away. Dude, oh you gotta sniff God. that. Well, you got, we're scientists! Yeah, go on quick. What if it's anthrax? Ah. It's not anthrax, it's just a mold. It reminds me of the shit. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. No, it literally smells like um fragrance. I think oh. maybe from the the moot pad. The moot pad. Oh, <laughs> like the, the fucking pad. the moot pad thing. That Fuck is her. sick. <laughs> oh, you've offended Marty. Alright, let's use this sock to see what's in this shit. What is that? I don't know. You ditched it because you got shit. Do you want some scissors? You're not being good you science. So you can lightly cut into it? Yeah, yeah. Get a knife. Get that. That's creepy as fuck. That's like the Blair Witch 3. We're in the movie The Blair Witch 3 right now. That is fucked. It's like a lipstick or something. Yeah, but what's the shit on the outside? There's like... Yeah, just put it in the bin here. No. There's a reason for this. So yeah, someone's trying to it's a riddle. Someone's trying to poison us. That's the reason. So to describe it, it's like it's this listed. crustified shit around this bottle of what would normally be lipstick, I believe. And it's fucking crustified as fuck. Oh, it looks like, it, yeah, it's like asbestos mixed with salmonella. Dry oh, salmonella. fucking hell, man. The That's the sickest shit we've ever been sent. That's worse than human poo. That is definitely some sort of witchcraft shit. Sending that. That is like, like your your house is just fucked now, dude. You've got a disease now. Like that has unleashed some sick. Like I can taste it in my mouth. My chin hurts. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the uh, PO unboxing this week. And thanks for sending some stuff in, guys. We appreciate it. Jesus. I I'm down now. <laughs> I'm like, fuck All right, that. our next segment has been renamed to... Stink to the back. And it's basically just a prank call where we uh, prank call someone that you guys, like a friend or family member that you guys have sent in and you've sent in a little description saying, oh, could you want... So uh, we'll show you your prank calls. Dude, the house is fucked now, hey. It's yeah. just... A taint of blood. We I can have to move out. I can sense the spirits that it's under. I know. I feel like that was asbestos. We got so many years pan. Is that so rock star? <laughs> Man, we fucking chewed it, eh? Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, Seamus O'Donog, and then it's cut out, I can't read it, but has said, boys, got a prank call for your podcast, got to make Jordan He's always getting in trouble for, from the Sanford pub for doing burnouts on a Wednesday night, in brackets, steak night. Say you are from the Fernie Grant police station and you have footage of him doing burnouts in his white Land Cruiser. This was a couple of months ago, but fuck, it would be funny. Hmm. So you're the police? Yeah. Okay, so I will be Constable um, Stanley Morrison from the Fernie Grove Police Station. Baby. Hello. G'day, am I speaking with uh, Jordan here? Oh, uh, yeah, I am. No worries, yeah, mate. Are, sorry. Mate, I'm uh, Constable Stanley Morrison from the uh, Fernie Grove Police Station. Do you have a yeah, few, yeah. few minutes to talk? Uh, yeah, yeah. No worries. So um, we've just recently been um, handed in a um, complaint from the from the Sanford uh, the Sanford pub um saying that yep. there's uh someone been doing burnouts in the um car park uh yep. and they've just sent the CCTV footage in and yep. um basically yeah we we've just ran the um the plates and it sort of your name's come up um yeah yeah 
So uh, we, we can do it a couple of ways. We can come and um, yep. and get a statement off you in person, or you can yep. del- deliver one over the phone. Um, yep. But basically, uh, Sanford just wants an explanation and an apology, and yep. um, and and they've said if if you're not willing to do that, then they'll uh, be looking to press charges. Yeah, okay. Um, well, I'm I'm still working at the moment, so I wouldn't be able to do one over the phone. But what it was the other minutes. option? Could I come in and give one? Or look, you can give in, you can come in and uh, and give one, but just because we've been so sort of backed up with um with complaints right, and stuff like right. that, where there's uh, a yeah, yeah. because of coronavirus, we're sort of pushing through these quite quickly. So you can you yeah. can you can quickly leave a, a statement now. It'll take you a couple of minutes, or um I, yeah. I can't guarantee that that the Sanford pub won't press charges if I don't come back with an yeah. apology and explanation right now just because yeah. um, you know it's, it's taken so long and we need to move yeah, through yeah. all these complaints as quickly as possible yeah okay well I'd give one now if that's alright or yeah mate yep go for it I've, I've, yeah. I've, everything's being recorded the entire conversation yeah that's fine yeah yep so when you're ready mate off you go yep uh, yeah uh, Jordan um, I was driving that car that night um, there's no good reason for doing it. Um, stupid on my behalf and very sorry for it. Um, won't happen again and yeah, shouldn't have done it in the first place and can guarantee it won't ever happen again. And sorry for all the drama and everything it caused. No worries, mate. So, you know, this sort of stuff, you know, it, it does happen occasionally and uh, yeah, yeah. usually, you know, some patrons in the in the pub or something do something stupid a couple yeah. of times. And yeah. so, so the venue just sort of likes to set an example. And um, but, you know, now that you've apologized, if if however you uh, do break the law again, they can and, yeah. and will use this. Uh, this confession against you, just letting you know. Yep. And also, the um, the owner of the pub has also said that um, they would like a, a nude photo sent of you. A nude photo? Yeah, it's it's one of the uh, little side notes at the bottom here. I'm not sure why they've written that, um, but I'm legally I have to say it. So they want a they want you to send a nude photo of your dick yep. and and your asshole like your cheeks completely spread your asshole sent to um sent to their mobile phone yeah right all right so if you could send those um i'll message you the mobile number that would be um that would be fully sick yeah right. no worries <laughs> mate you're uh you this isn't fun. actually the police this is um marty and michael from the marty and michael fully actual podcast and, yep. one, and one of your mates has um, fully stitched you up. And you've yeah, been know. done, brother! That was a oh, beautiful, man. beautiful little oh, confession, yeah. though, dude. That was... Um... <laughs> I've been fucking up. No, oh, mate, that was um, that was very entertaining. Thank you for playing along, yeah. and you're a fucking, you're That's a beautiful good. dude. And keep doing burnouts, man. I don't care. It's just oh, a bit yeah. of dirt. <laughs> Do them twice yeah. as aggressively now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Lose control. <laughs> oh, Poor dude. Walker. Well, thank you, thank you for uh, playing along. We love you, and don't ever forget that we love you. Yeah, Pardon? No worries. Thanks, that boy. No worries, mate. See you later. All right. Okay, guys, well, that brings us to episode number 14. Come back next week, and don't forget to subscribe to the website and watch all our videos and do everything that we say. Do everything that we say. Listen to every word and think that we're hilarious and support us and just be the best to us. We're the best. 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 Fucking cunt.